And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lux Aurelian Soul. That's right, we have a deck that's not quite dragons, but similar in nature. Going to be a control style Demacia Targon deck that's going to be using um, our two powerful champions to help finish out games, especially, you know, we know Aurelian Soul finishes out games. So this, this deck was uh, made and donated for us right before the new uh, cards from Piltover and Zong came out because this is you know kind of designed to be good against other Targon decks with having this kind of top end, right? Because Aurelian Soul is kind of the king of uh, Targon matchups. But still, with people playing slower decks in Piltover and Zong now, you know, their Heimer, um, Jace decks and Lux decks and stuff like that, Aurelian Soul should be really good in those matchups. They don't really have very many ways to kill it. You know, got to use something to get rid of a spell shield and then a thermogenic beam. So that's what we're going to see. We're going to see how it does um, against that kind of stuff. Didn't really want to play three Aurelian Souls, though. So we got an extra champion slot. So playing a Poppy just because, you know, we got a, another champion slot. And Poppy is just a really good quality card. And plus that attack grant, every, uh, you know, our other allies plus one plus one can be really useful since... Uh, these days, there's lots of 3-3s three running around, right? The 6-mana spell that makes two 3-3s, three or the landmark that makes a 3-3. Three three. And so there's lots of 3-3s. Three we have 2-2s. Two you have know, Solari Priestess, Loping Telescope, you know, Fleet Feather Tracker. Like, these things have two power, so Solari Sunhawk. And so being able to uh, grant them plus one, plus one could be really nice of, like, allowing these cards to be able to trade up so that your Loping Telescope can trade up and so on. So then we got, uh, you know, good... Um, combat trick, sharp sight, pale cascade, got good fight spells, um, including concerted strike, uh, sunburst for a nice removal spell that kills all these champions people are playing these days, including, you know, how people will just play a Lux because they're like, all right, well, my Lux is safe. You know, it's a three, five with barrier. Well, then you can sunburst immediately, get rid of the barrier, get rid of the Lux. Um, that's really nice. So sunburst seems pretty good these days. And that's what we got. Got some life steal with Radiant Guardian, Solari Sunforger. So here we go. All right, we're going to go take it on over to Ranked. We'll go play our five games over there, and we'll see how we do. Okay. Seen a lot of this aggro deck here today. This is the third time in a row getting matched up against Poppy Zed Lulu. Alright, so just gonna pass. Keep two spell mana available for Pale Cascade. So we assume like they play like Lulu. We Okay, just that thing? I don't know if I wanna waste my stun on that thing. Maybe not. No, I don't really have a good Lurk deck. That was a question. Do I have a good Lurk deck? Um, not really. I haven't played very much Lurk, to be honest. I would just have, like, the same as... Uh, kind of like the other... Just kind of generic decks. Okay. Let's just attack like this. They use Sharp Sight Block. I Pill Cascade. Could use twin disciplines, that'd be kind of rough. Could pass. Yeah, it's not like that attack's that good. Could just pass. Bring me tea to gain the strength of rivers. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you have to do that something. I definitely wanted to, you know, Sunhawk, you know, I was hoping to Sunhawk something larger, but I, obviously we can't stop the tracker with Sunhawk, with the Sunhawk. So I just force them to use one of their spells, but they should definitely have a spell here. This shouldn't really work, but we get two mana on the Lux. Yeah. Just scared of the champions while I held up the Sunhawk, but once they played that Flea Feather Tracker, I could have a Loping Telescope. Alright, 12. 
Sun and steel. The dark beckons. Channel our power. But again, we're not really a poppy deck, so it's not like the end of the world that our our poppy died. Looking for this. All right, back to 17. Guess we'll take the character. Don't think we're going to need a promising future. <laughs> All right, this leaves, Priestess leaves me with five mana. Doesn't have the silence anymore. But we'll still just kill it. Get a final spark. I've been hiding my light too long. So we're looking good. But that deck can always do super scary stuff. So I wouldn't say it's over or anything like that. I'm just saying we're looking pretty good right now. The meteor shower is what I wanted to hit since we had two spell, you know, two mana on the Lux. I wanted to hit meteor shower last time. I'll still just take him, but that's the card that I would have wanted to hit. I don't know, just kind of do a whole bunch of trades. Trades are good because, like, you know, they're a poppy deck. So we want to get their stuff out of here, so poppy doesn't have things to grow. I gave them the test to see if they played one other unit last round with that five mana. I saved. All right, cool. And that'll do. They probably just have more rat. Like they probably just have rallies in hand. Like that's probably what they're sitting on. Would it help if I apologize? All right, good win. Want to know? Gangplank Sejuani. This is a good sunburst matchup, unless it's like leveled up Sejuani that has seven health. Sunhawk is good at stunning stuff. Radiant Guardian healing my Nexus and Toph is good. This is just kind of a good hand. I I even kind of want to just keep Sharp Sight, right? Sharp Sight's just fine. Yeah, I'll we'll just keep this. So we have the Loping Telescope to start on two. Cool. I'll take that. Ooh, just Sunhawk. You know, they are like a Make It Rain deck and all that kind of stuff. It's just Captain Farron's just so expensive. That thing, obviously, we don't want that. But I, you know, I guess it's the Charger, but I don't love that against Make It Rain. Monkey Idol. Monkey Idol's a good one. Okay. Monkey Idol's a good one. So yeah, I could use Sharp Sight. But I'll save Sharp Sight because I could see them playing like Spray Fin. You know, at the time I didn't know I was going to have another Sharp Sight. You don't want to cross me. Pretty awkward. Okay. Not as awkward. Virtue guides me. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. 
If I attack, they block with a Powder Monkey. I heal for 4, so we'll be at like 18 instead of 14. But then they could try to kill... Let's do it. They could try to kill with the 3 damage spell, with the 5 damage spell. Yeah, that's 5 damage spell. All right, got that out of their hand. Overall, pretty good trades for us, I think. Please, no such one. No. From the savage cold. Okay, it does five. All right, so those are gonna trade. Bristle, attack. Right. Yeah, you're at three out of five. We can sharp sight. If I had one more mana and we could have played the Fleet Feather Tracker first, then sharp sight, then concerted strike. But we sharp sight, concerted strike, and then just trade. All right. Well, at least we got a Sejuani out of their hand. I suppose. I could really use Eclipse Dragon right here. Like this is a perfect Eclipse Dragon round, and then it really until the next round. Eclipse Dragon. Four out of five. So the warning shot. Sure. No more Sejuani's, please. Pain is nothing. Mm. Sunburst just doesn't kill that. I guess it forces them to use their warning shot right now, though. It's the warning shot out of hand. I was forged by wind. There's plenty of killing left. Again, one mana short. You need to be able to fleet feather tracker plus concerted strike. Man, that Bright Steel Formation, man, this is tough. Because we can play aloof right now, and then we can play a really until next round. Or if we take Bright Steel, we can't. You know, we have to wait till next round to play Bright Steel. Um, but Barrier on everything is pretty cool. Oh, they took my Eclipse Dragon. That was the card I wanted. I right, have two Sejuani's out of here. I kind of feel like I have to concert a strike right now. Otherwise we won't have the mana for it. Because they open it... No, we'll just wait. No more champions, please. Okay. Should have taken Aloof Travelers. Should have taken Aloof Travelers. That was a tough one. That was a tough decision. Aloof Travelers was the right call. Alright, Silver Action. Back to an aggro deck. Which I like how we handled the aggro deck the first time. They didn't play champions for a long time. 
We'll keep Radiant Guardian. Look for look for some early bodies. There we go. Hello. Not my favorite trade. Um, I could take the two to protect against action, I suppose. But I also just don't want to take any damage at all. Bone Skewer is kind of interesting against action and everything, but you know, we'll, we'll take Aloof Travelers this time. We really regret not taking Aloof Travelers last game. So we'll try to make up for our mistakes here. Mistakes from the past. That's Merciless Hunter. I'm okay with that. Mm. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. You're covered. Protect and strike back, heretic. I'm perfectly fine with that trade. I'm not doing very well by my Radiant Guardian by having all these trades. All right, got a bruiser out of there. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. Always good to get bruisers out of there. Greed will turn any man into a monster. Danger pays. At least if they if they have Cataclysm, yeah, they don't get to just challenge right there. You will be scoured from this land. I really wish I had one more man. I really wish I could warrior and still keep up sharp sight. Banish the unworthy. Not a chance. Eight. So that's six and then two. So I could sharp sight, it survives the concerted strike, and then kills the three three. Um, but it's just not really a very good use of my mana or the round. Black four challenger. So there's the Merciless Hunter that we knew about after round three. I just got everything in the middle of our deck here. At least force them to have pump spells, I guess. They probably do, but at least force them to have it. You never know, maybe they don't. So down to two cards we don't know about besides the Waking Sands. Oh. I couldn't get an elite that cost less than four that cost four or less. I guess not. Arm yourselves with holy sunlight. Kind of forgot we were a Lux deck. Sunburst. Oh, if you if you didn't know, Sunburst does not go through the spell shield. The spell shield does stop the Sunburst. GG spell shield. GG's. If you just have spell shield, quick attack, and vulnerable stuff, it's gonna be great against just generic 5-5s. Five and unfortunately, all we had were just our whole hand were just 5-5s. Five fives. <laughs> Couldn't stop that. So now we got Ezreal. We're gonna send these all back. I could see maybe keeping Remembrance, I guess. We wanna go round three Remembrance. 
if that's really that good or necessary. Yeah. Did not need to keep Remembrance. I'll get Pokesticked. the sergeant so what i'm thinking here is that we'll have a little bit more information whenever we play the priestess which will probably be next round i'm not playing this on forger next round that and also if for some reason they want to prank it you know, won't have the um whatever it's called for them to prank won't have the uh, invoke card in our hand for them to prank i am planning on doing it this next round though i think it's like we're going to need to find a spell that can kill Curious Shellfolk. I need more things that kill Curious Shellfolk. I think that... Oh, no, it feels like we just have too many of these mid-range units. Too many 4 and 5 mana bodies. But I think we're just also doing a terrible job drawing them, right? Like, we only have 2 Raiding Guardians and 1 Sunforger. We drew all those last game. We do have the 3 Remembrance. It does seem like we have kind of... I don't know. I don't know if we actually do have too many, or we're just the last two games, we're just drawing all of them. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. There's only one Sunforger in our deck. There's only two Radiant Guardians. Maybe Remembrance isn't needed, but obviously we're a Lux deck, and like that's kind of why there's Remembrance in here. Maybe you don't actually need Remembrance. I haven't liked it so far. Show them our metal. So the attack, the big thing, like, yeah, we, we en enable the Radiant Guardian, which is fine, not really, you know, it's fine. But the big thing is we give them the priority first to act, okay, and they say they do not want to act. I'm just incredibly worried about Curious Shellfolk next round, which makes me want to play this to, to look for the six mana obliterate that can kill Shellfolk. But I just, you know, this uses my mana better and it gets enabled here. Next round we could have Traveler plus Telescope. I like seeing that. Alright, I guess that wasn't as good as I thought. Please no Shell Folk. Obviously they have it. Perfect. That is what I wanted. I was worried about grabbing the obliterate also. You know, like if I if I go grab obliterate, they get an obliterate. Alright, so we know that that card right there is an Equinox, or I guess the card before that was an Equinox. Okay, so they have two Otterpus. So that's another Otterpus. Zero mana Equinox. All that stuff is silly. Alright, but... Shell Folk out of here, that's very important. Champagne Supernova? They're not... Yeah, no denies over there. They're not a deny deck. I don't actually have another invoke card right now. I'll just take the Scourge. I am the traveler. We'll just get more bodies over here. And less spells. That sounds like a good thing for Lux, right? More bodies, less spells. Hmm. Oh yeah, Scourge gets Equinoxed. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I should have just taken 
Champagne Supernova. So another, I, I'm again scared. Like, are they gonna have a second Shell Folk? Yeah, like I play Lux, they play a second Shell Folk. I hope they don't have a second Shell Folk because I want the Lux in play before I spend the six mana on the Sunburst, right? And that is true. The Traveler is Invoke. That's true. It's a Celestial card. I like seeing that. I like them, you know, that means they're going to be drawing death ray. Like, I like that. Okay. Wasn't the absolute worst. We have the backup Lux. If I would have taken the destroyer, would have had the spell shield. Mirror mage? That's whenever you play a created spell, cast it again. So these pranks are recast twice. Okay, so Sunburst will silence it just this round. We need them to not kill my Lux. Okay, that doesn't kill Lux. And I like that. That puts two MK3s back on top. Like, that's good for us, isn't it? Like, we're going to eventually stop drawing these two drops. We're eventually going to just draw an Aurelian Soul, and they're just going to have a bunch of, like, two mana deal threes. Two mana deal threes. The Sunhawks are the worst card in our deck to draw, so unfortunately, we've drawn them back to back. I assume they can't kill Lux, because we assume that if they could, they would have just killed Lux the first time and not given me that final spark. Don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. Yes, good. Yeah, they're trying to hit it to make it cost mana. Nope. Nope. Other cards. No! They, got, they hit it. Ugh. Yep. Wow. That was lucky. None of these are champions, so you know, like, they... So they... Had... Two out of seven, twice, they had to hit, you know. They had a two out of seven and a two out of seven, and one of them hit for them. It's probably about 50% overall. Alright, we man, we just drew really poorly. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. This game, this game's over, the Ezreal kills us. If I would have just taken, you know, the nine mana double obliterate, why didn't I just take that card? Because maybe, you know, maybe they can't kill the traveler. There's nothing else to do though. So they were scared of Sharp Sight, and so I had to pass while they were scared of Sharp Sight. They just sent Shock Blast away? Shock Blast just killed me. They just sent that away? GG, Ezreal Bandle City. So 
the best we got. Maybe... Maybe this works. I mean, they have to have better cards in their hand than that Shock Blast, right? And that Shock Blast, like, killed us. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Two, four, six. Yeah. They just don't hit Final Spark with those two, um, whatever they're called, we win that game. Do I want a round three remembrance against landmarks? I could think of worse things to be doing than round three remembrance. Okay, Priestess could hit uh, and a six mana obliterate for us, they could obliterate a landmark. Whoa, these are good. Moon Silver and I like both Moon Silver and Aloof Travelers. I like both of those. I guess we'll just take Aloof Travelers. But Moon Silver would let us play Lux round four. <laughs> That's pretty silly. Because if I take it, if I take Moon Silver, we play Priestess this round, and then next round Lux, and then round five we have six mana for Remembrance. Sharp side trade or nah. deal four, deal one. Bask in her radiant blessing. Yep, Aloof could discard an arsenal. That could be pretty important. One for you and one for you. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Harold. Opponents always have all their champions immediately. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Righto. Just kill me. One, two, if I block with the priestess, it just goes away. At least blocking with the two two puts two damage on that thing. Which I guess that's useful for the fleet feather tracker, so kinda wish I would have done that last time. If I go Remembrance, which I want to, if I go Remembrance, they can Mini Morph my Lux. The tracker doesn't have Challenger right now. We need to like play a unit to get it, though, which is why like Remembrance is like the best thing to do. It's just, you know, I, I want to like you know bash in it and Pell Cascade, Sharp Sight, right? I want to use this stuff, but this thing doesn't have Challenger right now. Ooh. Okay, so we'll kind of take it. We got the very worst remembrance hit with just a just a regular old four or five. So that's the bad news. But at least we got to level up our locks and get a final spark. Is it resolved before mini morph? We have a really tough decision here. If it's a time bomb, 
I like have to kill Zillion with this final spark, right? Because if, if they have a time bomb, you know, we're in a ton of trouble. But then we don't get to kill the Ziggs, but I guess we can probably try to figure out how to kill the Ziggs with other stuff. Same with Talia. Alright, so they do have another... You know, they did have another Ziggs. Definitely need to try to kill this. I will end this here. Back heretic. Just in case something happens, we need to throw a blocker in there. This shouldn't. Maybe 10 mana next round. Shining. Okay, so I was, I was, I had one more mana than I thought I did. Ugh. So much for this challenging and killing the Ziggs of the Pale Cascade. their third Ziggs. A lot of Ziggs. You want to challenge that? You want to give him the 3-3? Three, three? Okay, so they're making the good block block I was not hoping that they would make. Or I was hoping they'd be more scared of having some things be dead. You want a big no. Call this guy. An extra big bomb? How'd you know? Elusive. No, where's my Equinox? It's like Protoporo it is. Down to five. And then my plan is Protoporo, then Scourge. Oh, it's seeing that spell shield anyway. I was thinking like we could maybe hit Equinox, but. Does the Scourge even do it? Probably does something. As long as they don't have mini morph. These other cards aren't really getting rid of this, the arsenal. Okay. 
Okay. Wait. What was their life total? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I didn't even I didn't even think about like, you know, because I didn't even think about doing that and then maybe killing them. What was their life total? Okay, so they just had something that was seven tough. So we dealt two damage to them to put them so they were they at seven? And we could have won? I wonder. I wonder if they were at seven. Were they? they nobody in chat said anything. I don't know. I don't know if they were at seven. I. Justice I might have missed lethal. Served. So obviously, like that, like we're dead here at round start. This goes away. Zig's ability does too. This deck was really close. You know, I I know we went one and four, but man, we were playing some really close games. Uh, but it would it was like these fives and sixes, right? Like these four fives and sixes. Like that was kind of what was doing us in is that we just had too many of these fours, fives, and sixes, and we couldn't unload our hand enough. Um, I really like the sunburst. I didn't like remembrance. Star shaping was okay. Um, I would. That's probably what I'd want to do is kind of maybe trim down on remembrance and get because like like Solari Priestess gets you like the you know card that can just replace remembrance anyway. I kind of want just like more more spells and more cheaper spells, right? Like I I could definitely see playing cards like Spell Thief, being able to take like the different spells that other people have. Um, and Spell Thief can pair with like Concerted Strike or Star Shaping to get you to your six. I think the Remembrance was the one card that I really didn't like. Um, but you know, I, I like the Eclipse Dragon to help the early and soul cost less. Um, so this could be like get a third Priestess in here for more interaction and like two Spell Thief. Could also go like a, a Ranger's Resolve. I'm like always happy to have Ranger's Resolve. I wonder if I like Ranger's Resolve more than Pill Cascade. Single combat's also a card I'm pretty happy to have a lot of the time. You know, I just kind of wanted a couple of more cheap spells like that. I also wasn't very impressed with the Sunhawk. I thought I was going to be more impressed with, with this card than what I was. I don't think, you know, like, so I basically just don't, I don't know if we need like three Sunhawks, right? Like I could definitely see playing like one or two. Because there are times like that stun could be pretty, pretty good, but I don't know if it's really that necessary. We have we have other good options there. Egghead Researcher, Blue Sentinel, Bright Steel Protector. Okay. So uh somebody went back and checked and we were one off of lethal. We didn't miss lethal. We were, we would have been one off. I could definitely see playing Rangers Resolve you know, like one copy of Rangers Resolve. Okay, so I'm pretty set on like, you know, definitely putting in a spell thief for one of those uh remembrance. But then the other two, it's it's tough. I could see playing like one Rangers Resolve, I could see playing the second spell thief, I could see playing like two Bright Steel Protector. Which makes just like your fleet feather tracker and just makes like some other stuff just better. Um and, and you know, like that's that makes like like the whole point of Sunhawk is to help you blocking. But Bryce Hill Protector also helps you blocking by giving you barrier. Maybe the protector is just better, especially since we're playing tracker. So we're gonna replace replace Sunhawk that I wasn't too happy with with Protector. That Protector just really helps out against like Siver decks and stuff too, right? Yeah, so I like that. So take out Remembrance, take out Sunhawk, put in Spell Thief and Protector and the third Solari Priestess. I think, yeah, I think that would help us out quite a bit. So yeah, we were really close to winning a lot of those games. Um, you know, we saw that last one that's super close. We had another one that uh, we just couldn't find spells and we just, you know, unfortunately drew all of those Sunhawks in the late game. Remembrances were getting stuck in hand in another game, like where we just had all these fours and fives. Not a poor deck. I, I could definitely see us going 4-1, you know, playing this again and, and going 4-1. I really could. Actually, not too bad. 
All right, so that's going to be Lux Aurelian Soul. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, give this updated version a try. I think that that makes that can make a big difference. You know, getting lowering this curve a little bit and getting another really good interaction spell with Spell Thief because your opponent always plays good interaction, and so you can uh, get whatever they are playing, and that just gives you access to a lot of different things you wouldn't normally have access to, and cards that your opponent won't be expecting. You know, they won't be expecting the cards that they're playing to be used against them. All right, but that's going to be it, though, for Lux Aurelian Soul. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.